Hello folks, this is not a real tutorial and it's very temporary because we're in summer 2019 and Maya is in version 2019.2 now and dot two mainly brings uh, a total overhaul of Bifrost and uh, I didn't have time to really get into it but uh, I didn't find it in my menu set so when you go to FX here, you do have Bifrost fluids and you've always had those fluids right here. But uh, the key innovation sits under Windows, Bifrost, can't find it here. And I'm just pointing you in order to save you from fr some frustration how to <laughs> actually locate it here. Go to Settings and Preferences under Windows, pre Settings Preferences and go to the Plugin Manager and when you uh, type in the search field, type in for example BIFR, that is enough already, you see that uh, two modules are loaded, that's the Bifrost uh, shell node and the plugin here, that's the reason why we see this here, but the Bifrost graph, which is an innovation, is not loaded. So you can auto load it in order to play with it and experiment with it in the near future, so it loads with the with Maya all the time or you just load it ad hoc that means you just use it now and next time you need to co come back to this plugin manager here so when I do this now it takes a couple of seconds and then the plugin is loaded the Bifrost graph now you can close this window this was my window here <laughs> actually the real window because the wind was blowing well, so what a nice coincidence. Uh, anyway, now you go back to Windows and now you see the Bifrost Graph Editor. And when we open it, we see a blank space here. You can create a new graph here, which changes the whole layout and fills it with an input and an out output. And that's a totally new philosophy, really. What puzzles me is why we don't see in the Bifrost Graph Editor the current Bifrost setup here because this is a Bifrost liquid and we don't see it here. I guess it's because they have a new file description and uh, this is sort of the old way to set up Bifrost materials. Now a typical thing you would do with this new terminology is just delete the input because we don't need it but drag an object into this window with the middle mouse button. For example the type mesh 1 which is I think the letter A. So it, it lands here. Now you need a node which does liquid or air and you do this like in the hypershader with a tab key. And in the tab key you can type in for example air and you get offered the source air. So choose the source air. Now you plug in the mesh into the geometry of the source air. That's the first step you would do. Now you need a simulation. So uh, again tap and type in simulation. Now you have simulate arrow for example. That's probably even wiser to use that. So let's get this a little bit to the side. So we feed the air source into the sources here of the simulation and the simulation goes out to the output and now you should see some steam coming up uh, rising up from the letter A I guess. For that experiment I need to deactivate the simulation with the liquid here actually because it slows down the system and now I go to the very beginning and I run <laughs> this test. Okay this is quite nice it is the B it's not the A. And uh, this is a typical, this is the typical way to uh, start with a simulation with this new terminology here, uh, which is totally different from the previous one, and it's called BIF. Bifrost one, it's Bifrost one. By the way, uh, one thing I do know is when you double-click this, this window opens again, and you have here in the source of the air a temperature which is 580 by default that's degrees Celsius. If you reduce this 
the steam will rise slower because the environment temperature in the system is 20 degrees which is basically uh, comfortable when we're sitting at home and doing our and reading a book that's 20 degrees so 580 degrees very hot but uh, if you make it even hotter like 2000 degrees the simulation goes much faster it rises dramatically fast now and it's a very boring steam because we just use this simple connection here and there are so many nodes and many of them are not documented at all so when you reduce the temperature from 2000 to 20 which means room temperature the system won't rise at all because it just sits there there's no heat exchange so it just spreads slowly well my window again and uh, with this I leave you alone. Good luck with your experiments and uh, see you next time.